Dear students, welcome to EPG Padasala. This is Dr. S. Alagesan, Professor and Head, Ramakrishna Mission, Vivekananda University, Faculty of General and Adapted Physical Education and Yoga. Today, in this lecture class, we are going to discuss about the origin and development of football. After this lecture, students should be able to know about the game of football. The students should understand the various forms of football played all over the world. The students should be able to understand the development of rules and regulations of football. The students should also know about the organizations which govern the game of football. Also, the students should be able to understand the status of football in India. First of all, the origin of football we are dividing into three periods. Ancient period, medieval period and modern period. Football is the most popular game in the world. Football is played in more than 200 countries play the game. Football is a game played between two teams in which 11 players play for each team. The player's objective of the game is to send the ball into the opponent's goal. The goalkeepers are the only players who are allowed to handle the ball that to inside their penalty area. Other players are allowed to kick the ball or hit the ball and also sometimes they can use the torso of their body. After the match, the team which scores more number of goals is the winner. If the match ends in a draw, that is if both the teams scores equal number of goals, the match will be taken to extra time or tiebreaker as per the tournament committee rules. Now, we will see the origin of football in the ancient period. About 2500 years ago, a game called Kuju was played in China. This was the predecessor to the game of soccer. Ku means to kick and Ju means a leather ball filled with feathers. Kicking a ball through an opening into a net is the objective of the game. You can see in this picture that the players are kicking the ball into the net where there is a small ring. Then when you go back to Greece, there was a game called Episcuros. Around 2000 BC, the Greeks played a game called Episcuros. This has a proof by a marble relief in National Museum of Archaeology in Athens, which shows an athlete balancing the ball on his thigh. Earlier, the Greeks used their balls which were made of linen and hair wrapped in string. The Greek made the balls from inflated pig bladders wrapped in tight leather. This is a picture which is showing a player balancing the ball on his thigh. In Rome, a game was played by 5 to 12 players on a rectangular field with a small and hard ball. This game was called Harbus Thumb. The objective of the <coughs> game is to keep the ball in their own half while their opponents try to steal it and get it over to their own side. By considering the importance of this Harbus Thumb, Emperor Julius Caesar used this game to maintain the physical fitness of his soldiers, which will be preparing the soldiers to go for the battlefield. 
Many kicking games were probably already present in Rome. Slowly, Harvestum eventually faded out. Now, if you see the history of football in the medieval age, in England, lot of team games and ball games were played. One among the games is called mob football. In mob football, the game is played between two villages and the objective of the game is to send the ball into the opponent's village square. This mob football is not having any rules and regulations. Hence, there was violence broken out and lot of injuries happen when the whole group of villagers play together. Finding out this violence and injury prone, King Edward in 1314 forbid this game that no English people should play this game in London. Followed in England, we go back to Japan. Some 1400 years back, a game called Kemari has been introduced to Japan. The aim of Kemari is to pass the ball to their fellow mates. There is no winners or there is no losers in the game of Kemari. This is the origin of football in the medieval age. Modern history, if you go for modern history of football, in Korea, a ball game called Chuk Kuk, a very similar to modern football was played in Korea. In the year 1882, British crew members played a game in Incheon Port. In 1921, the first All-Korea football tournament was organized. In 1928, the Korean Football Association was established. Now, how the rules were developed from the ancient period? The development of football rules can be seen from the year 1848. That was the year when the first draft of the Cambridge football rules were framed. In 1858, the rules were codified and the Sheffield rules of football were introduced. In 1866, forward passes are permitted as long as there are three defending players between the receiver and the goal. This was the first step from a consideration of offside. In 1871, introduction of the specific position of goalkeeper is introduced. In 1877, full unity with Sheffield rules is established. Several features of the Northern Code had been incorporated. In the year 1891, the penalty kick is introduced. In 1925, the offside rule is reduced from 3 to 2 defending players between the player and the opponent's goal line. In 1958, introduction of substitutes was introduced. In 1970, introduction of red and yellow cards were done. In 1992, the back pass rule was introduced, which is the controlling body of football in the world. There are two organizations. One is the last of the games are determined by the International Football Association Board, which was instituted in the year 1886. Then the important organization is FIFA. In the year 1904, the International Football Body, Federation International Football Association was formed in Paris. These are the two organizations which govern the rules of football and other activities. Women's football. When men football is having a origin, women's football also equally got important in the world. Women's football has been around 
introduced in the 19th century. It is also extremely popular during World War I. Football Association banned women's football in the year 1921 for some reasons. The banned football for the women were revived following the formation of the English Women's Football Association in 1969 and the lifting of the ban was done in the year 1971. The Women's World Cup and the European Championships were organized. Statistics showed well over 1 lakh registered women footballers at the end of 2005 compared to 1 lakh 12,000 registered in 1993. Status of football in India. Now we come to Indian football. Britishers introduced football in India during 19th century. Football clubs like Calcutta Football Club, South Bazaar, Morgan Bagan, and Aryan Club were established in Calcutta around the year 1890. The Durand Cup and IFA Shield were both started in late 19th century. The Indian Football Association that is called IFA was established in Calcutta in 1893. The All India Football Federation which runs the game in India was formed in 1937. Now we have to see how Indian team perform and what are their achievements. India qualified by default for the 1950 FIFA World Cup but the team never made it to Brazil due to various reasons. India picked up the gold in football in the first Asian Games in 1951. India reached the semi-final in Melbourne Olympics in 1956. In 1962, India again picked up the football gold in the Asian Games. In 1951 to 1962, it is usually considered as golden phase of Indian football. In 1970 Asian Games, India won the bronze medal. In 2007 and 2009, the Indian national team won the Nehru Cup. Indian youth team jointly won the Youth Asian Cup with Iran currently. This is the league matches are very very important for the promotion of football in any country. As like other countries, in India also we are having a important league match which is called Indian League which is I League. National Football League was founded in the year 1996 which was restructured and renamed as I Shield in the year 2006. In this I League, 14 teams take part in the league phases. There is promotion and relegation of two teams. The two bottom teams in the I League is relegated to the I League second division and the top two teams of the I League second division is promoted to I League. In the I League second division, there are 21 teams take part in three divisions. I League second division is the second popular league matches in the hierarchy of India. In this two top teams after a season goes up in the ladder to take part in the I League and two I League bottom teams in that season were relegated to I League second season. After these I League and I League second division, very important league matches are state league. Every state football associations are conducting their state football league. Especially if you want to see the famous Calcutta League, it is very very popular league tournament in India. Around 157 football clubs were registered in the Calcutta League. The Calcutta League is started from the year 1898. Around 8500 registered football players take part in this Calcutta League. Another important recently famous tournament in India is Indian Super League. 
Indian Super League is a popular football tournament conducted in India. In this Super League, eight franchise teams are participating in a league come league tournament and final stage is conducted in knockout stage. It is conducted in a franchise system. This IS league is called a famous popular football league in India and it was started in the year 2013. Now we have to see some of the competitions which were conducted in football in India. The famous cup was called Federation Cup which was started in the year 1977. This was the most prestigious national level club football tournament in India. The winning club of Federation Cup gets a chance to compete in the continental level in the AFC Cup. The next important famous football cup is Durant Cup. The Durant Cup was started in the year 1888 by the then Indian's Foreign Secretary Mortimer Durant at Simla, India in 1888. In 1940, the venue was shifted to New Delhi. Indian Super Cup contested between the I-League champions and the Federation Cup winners is a, another important cup. Sandos Trophy is a national football tournament which was started in the year 1941. This tournament is contested by states and government institutions like railways and services. Bengal had won 31 titles from the 1941 IFA Shield. In 1893, the fourth oldest cup competition in the world is IFA Shield. The structure, who is organizing this football in India, we have to see. Football in India is administered by the All India Football Federation, which is called AIFF, affiliated with Regional Asian Football Confederation. Whereas, youth football is administered by the Governmental Sports Authority of India. As in world, women's football is also popular in India. Women's football is administered by the Women's Football Federation of India, which is called WFFI from the year 1975. Kolkata teams East Bengal and Mohan Bagan started women's club sites from the year 2000. Indian Women's Football Championship is also organized. India took part in international tournaments like the AFC Women's Asia Cup. Female players have become internationally recognized. Stadiums in India. Stadiums play an important role in popularizing the game of football in India. We will see some of the largest stadiums in India. The Salt Lake Stadium in Calcutta with a capacity of 68,000 is the largest stadium in India. The second best largest is Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in New Delhi with a capacity of over 60,000. The next largest stadium is Barabati Stadium in Katak with a seating capacity of over 45,000. The Ambedkar Stadium in New Delhi is having a capacity of 20,000. Now we will discuss about comparative analysis of techniques in football followed by various countries in the world. There are nations which dominate the football in the world level. Italy, Brazil, Germany, Spain and England are the five countries which are dominating football in the world. Each country follows their own style of play which is suitable to their players. When we see England, England follows a style where players try to overrun opponents. They use their strength to protect the ball and cross the ball into the penalty box to use their height 
to head the ball into the goal. Ryan Giggs, Paul Scholes, Roy Keane and David Beckham were the epitome of English style dribbling, tackling, passing and crossing respectively. England players who are taller, they use their height for their advantage and dodge their opponents and place the ball in the air and try to head it into the goal. Now, if you see the style of play used by Spain, Spanish football is dominated by Real Madrid and Barcelona teams which are the outstanding club teams in the world. Spanish football has become a more fluid and passing style of football. The Spanish play with short passes around the opponents in what is called Tiki Taka. Spain was considered a good but underachieving side until they mastered this short passing game. This style has proved futile and uh, they are the reigning Euro and World Championship now. Italy. What is the style and technique followed by Italy we will see now. In Italy, the object of football is to outwit the opponent in what has been called Fantasia. Fantasia means the opponent cannot expect what they are going to do. They will be allowed to imagine something and the Italian players try to do some other thing which the opponents are outwitted. They make the opponent to believe something will happen and then do the exactly opposite to beat the defenders. Creating a fantasy or illusion and defeating the opponent is integral to the game in Italy. Hence, we can see the Italian players dive and roll around in the ground more than the other countries follow. Brazil. Brazil is the topmost outstanding country which have won the World Cup more than five times. Now we will see what is the style followed by Brazilian footballers. Brazil's style of play became the way to play football. Everybody who is watching Brazilian techniques, they like to play the type of game played by Brazil. Not just because it was very successful, but because it was attractive to boot. Confusing the opponents with elaborate moves is a style of Brazilian. When we see Brazilian playing in an international match, they apply the different type of moves and apply different type of skills to confuse the opponent and achieve success. This is similar to a dance and Brazil has won five World Cups. To conclude, as a football player, it is very important to recognize the different styles of play followed by different countries which is suitable to their football players. For example, the English football players will run past you because they are athletic, they are very fast. The Spanish football players will pass around you. They are famous for their short passes without allowing the opponents to tackle the ball. Comparatively, Italians will outwit you with a fantasy 
and elaborate styles of play and the Brazilians will dance around you by applying various styles and uh, a numerous types of techniques during the game. Not only these four countries, there are other countries like uh, German and Asian countries, Argentina, which also apply their own style of techniques to outwit the opponents. Each style has their advantages and each style brings unique challenges to a defense. So, dear students, today we have discussed about the origin and development of football in the ancient period, in the medieval period and in the modern period. Also, we have seen how the rules and regulations have developed from the inception of football. Also, we have seen the status of football and the performance of uh, Indian football team in the world arena of football. Thank you very much.